Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you 10 basic Linux networking commands that you should know about. Whether you are configuring your interfaces, testing routes, checking your local network, monitoring some networking traffic or resolving domain names, you can rely on these commands. But before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to the channel in order to support it and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it! So the first comment is IP. For example, IP A allows us to show our network interface details. In this case, I have four network interfaces. Then, for example, with IP route, we can uh, check our routing table with the default route and all the specific routes for each interface. With, for example, IP with parameter address, show, and the specific name for an interface, we can check only that interface, IP address, MAC address, etc. Second command is ARP, ARP minus A allows us to check the IP address that matches a specific hardware address and with minus E shows the same with a different format. If we want to check the MAC uh, and ARP list for a specific interface, we can use the minus I parameter. Let me show you using ping. I will ping my Linux server in order to allow the operating system to collect data with this uh, traffic and then I repeat the command and you can see that I already have an entry in my ARP table. This can be very useful to match which hardware interface in which equipment has a certain IP address and vice versa. Then if I use IP monitor all to collect in real time what's happening let me repeat my ping and you will see that information is being collected about uh, the machines that are changing traffic on this network. Okay, you can see the probe and reachable information getting into our uh, operating system. And of course, if I uh, repeat my command to check my ARP table, I can show you that the machine is already shown. IP address 192.168.50.2 is available. So number three is command ping. This command allows us to explore ICMP protocol that can be very useful to test if a certain machine is reachable on the network. As you can see, I'm pinging kernel.org server in order to check if I can reach the machine. If for example I use minus C4, I will produce only four attempts for requests for which I will have the replies. Of course I also have latency data from our tests. For example, ping minus I1 and minus C4 will introduce a delay of one second between each ping and for example minus 2 with minus 2 2 seconds between each test and a total of 2 tests so you can create your ping in different ways this one will be much faster with 100 milliseconds between each ping that is created comma number 4 is SS this comment can be very useful to test for example ports listening in our machine. As you can see, I have port 22. Now let me install Apache 2 very quickly. That would uh, open port 80. If I repeat the same command, minus LTN, you can see that port 80 is already listening. L stands for listen, T for TCP and N for numbering to show us IP addresses instead of host names. For example, 
with parameter minus L U N, I'm switching from TCP to UDP ports. In this case, we have the list of UDP open ports. Comment number five is nmap. With this comment, we can, for example, test the availability of a certain machine. So our comment is testing, is scanning the ports uh, that are listening. And this can be very useful. So you can uh, confirm that your server is only listening on the ports you need. It's very important for security purposes. For example, if you use minus V with uh, a specific subnet, you will be scanning all the subnet and get the list of hosts that are up and which ports they are listening on. This can be quite useful, for example, if you want to check on your network if someone is using a static IP address and is, for example, violating the rules on your network. So if you change the network by a specific IP address, you will be focusing your scan, your test on that IP address. So if I repeat the command for my uh, Linux server, dot one, you see that I have port 22 and port 80 for SSH and HTTP uh, protocols. And as you can see with SS command, I'm confirming that. Command number six is dig. This command is very useful to resolve host names and get a specific IP address or list of IP address, depending on the primary keys for uh, a domain. In this case, for kernel.org, you can see that the primary key is 139.178.84.217. So if I want to do the reverse uh, resolution, I can use minus X parameter and put the IP address and you'll see that this IP address is related to dfw.source.kernel.org that should be the server that is hosting this web page. Comment number seven is MTR. I'll do a scan with kernel.org and here you can see that I have a list of hosts for the routing hops that I have from my computer through the kernel.org uh, server. And it, it is very useful because you can see the latency, the amount of packets sent and check how stable is the connection between the two machines or if a specific node is creating a bottleneck in your connection. For example, if I put minus N, the same list is produced, but instead of the host names, we get the IP addresses for each uh, node between your two machines being uh, connected to each other. So this test is being made between a machine in Portugal, Europe, and a machine in the United States. And somewhere between Europe and the United States, we have a big increase in latency. Common number eight is traceroute. This is similar to MTR. This is the original one on Linux. And as you can see here, I cannot get the information I need for the latency and IP address of each node uh, the communication uh, passes. So this is caused by the use of specific UDP ports that might be uh, blocked in our communication. So instead of doing this, I can use the same command, but this time I'll use the minus I capital parameter. And this tells the commands to use ICMP protocol instead of UDP packets. And it returns all the routing path between my machine and kernel.org server. So going back to MTR command, so we can compare both. You can see that it creates a loop and this uh, interactive uh, information. So we can see it live and check what is happening 
on a specific hop and understand why sometimes a connection between two machines is slow or unstable. Common number 9 is TCP dump. This common allows us to monitor uh, network traffic live. Let's monitor ENP0S3 and filter for port 80. We are looking for HTTP traffic. Now let's download, for example, linux.org uh, main web page and generate some web traffic. And as you can see, if I go back to TCP dump console, I can monitor all the HTTP traffic that has been transferred between two machines. You can filter for any ports and protocols you might need or subnets uh, in order to get the correct traffic. Common number 10 is Term Shark. This is very similar to TCP dump, but it relies on command called T Shark. But I want to show you this one because it has a visual and more appealing way of monitoring traffic. I have filtered for ICMP protocol. Let me ping my Linux server. And as you can see, after I ping, I will get the traffic. In this case, is much uh, more simple to monitor, go back, because all the information will be recorded so we can analyze it more carefully. So that's it. If you are either configuring your network interfaces, setting up your machine on the network, testing some specific protocols, or uh, trying to reach a specific uh, server machine, um, testing your servers and monitor specific protocols for other types of uh, networking uh, activities, you can rely on these 10 commands in order to uh, get your tests done. If you want to share with us other networking comments you already used, please comment below. And if you liked the video, please press like, subscribe to the channel in order to support it and press the bell button in order to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Bye bye guys, thank you very much, see you on my next video.